Hi everyone, hope you're well. We've been in the house locked up for a while, but today it's right sunny. So it's sunny, it's nice. Should we go out? Yeah, let's go out. We've feels not like, been out for ages. Feels like we haven't done one of these just normal wholesome videos in a while. I know, and we desperately need some practice at ground handling, so let's do it. It's quite strong as well. Let's go. If it's this windy, there's no point taking two wing wings because one of us always has to be on safety duty. Yeah. It's already a bit calmer down here. It's uh, it's amazing how much the wind gradient is from up there to down here. You know what this is? <laughs> well, paraglider's kids. <laughs> Do you think? The only way to do this is with a paraglider or a mini wing. There's some evidence that flying as it have been here. Yeah. It's beautiful sunshine, but it's actually really bitey cold. Don't know how long it we're going to... It feels like being back in the UK <laughs> and uh, flying with many layers on. Yeah. Not we're quite, to actually. It's not really that bad. It's just that we're not used to it. We're going to have to do some star jumps and get warm. We brought the Rapidos because we thought it was going to be strong and it might be flyable but it might just be ground handling day to day, we'll see. Um, two, three, four, five, six, and then connecting. Right, let's see. Smooth as anything. Huh? Smooth as anything. First impressions? Yeah, it's a bit strong. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit strong. Is it a bit like not Gemma weather? Uh, if it, if we had like a. A 12 meter maybe for you. might be flyable but I definitely need to stay out in front because even just from down here to up here this little step you can feel the compression and you maybe get like 20 kilometers an hour down here and like 30 right here so up there will be like 40 50 on that little localized area so have you set your trimmers yeah they're slow so it gives me a good feel of what the wind is like and I know that I have a lot of range if I already start with the trimmers um, out the wing is more prone to collapse and I don't have as much range to speed up yeah. afterwards so I prefer to start like that spicy The bit that worked is more on the right, usually small left. I think that little hill down there next to that house will be nice.
online ground handling online course so if you're looking into the new season getting some good skills it's all about practice but we've made a little course to help you guide that practice so that when you go out uh, and ground handle and launch you have a better understanding hopefully of, uh, of how to do it safely and how to help others as well so there'll be a link in the description and up here or here so check it out and now I think it's Gemma's turn If you notice the wing is always staying above her every time it goes this way and it drops down it will pull her a lot more and that's the concept of the wind window and where the power is in the wind window so uh, that's one thing one of the many things that we go over on the course it's not too bad though right yeah, I think if I uh, I could if I got a drag on, I don't know how controlled it would be, but I might try a little controlled drag. Well, I was gonna say I've tried a bit left and right. You and tried it, it from from standing though. I've only ever done lay, laying drag. Oh, it's 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 easy. So if you if you turn around, kind of thing, whoop, and you go like towards the sea, it's a bit easier because it's going downhill. I'm gonna get somewhere where there's I'm a bit further away from the hill and a bit more room to the sea. Yeah, yeah. Look at that lean. Look at that 45 degrees. Okay, so start by running a little bit and then put brake on. Here we go. Lower, lower wing, lower wing. Now brake. Uh, <laughs> I think you're trying too much to brace yourself. You have to let it skid a bit more. It's hard to explain. Yes. But look, you did a little skidder here, look. <laughs> little skidderoo. At least it was a foot skidder and not an, uh, the other kind of skidder, which is what I expected. You're so lazy, just love laying down. I do like laying down. This is her, this is her favorite planking technique. <laughs> wow, that was good. I corrected too much. If you manage to stay on your feet and keep the, the, the wing on the edge of the window, I reckon you would have stayed, stayed on, on your feet until you got to the deathly bush. Body's not slippy enough. You're not pulling brake enough. All right. Whee! Do you want to have a try and see how good you are at standing control drag? I don't know if it's powerful enough for me. I might need to go up there. Come on, Tug Day. You can do it. It's definitely stronger, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh, picking up as we speak. Do you think you'll be able to get some control drag out of it before we before we have to stop? Oh, I think so.
And that's how Andre ended up in the sea. Met his watery end. I think he did all right. Where is it like now, the little tinker? Can't resist a little fly, a little speed fly. Wide load reversing! Just a little fly to end the day. Do you see that though? No penetration whatsoever. Just sink. It's too, it's too windy. I think it's time to go home. Anyway, that was really good. We're happy to be back, um, bringing you some nice content. Big thanks to all of these lovely people on Patreon and YouTube memberships. If you like the content, consider supporting us. Don't forget to subscribe when uh, Gemma edited this video. So thank you, Gemma. All oh, right, and that's me uh, set the task of editing this one. And I take it. cut. Think how much is in your pants as well that we can't Not see. too much. I didn't do the whole uh, laying down drag like you did. I think you uh, aged our harness about 10 years, but it's okay, <laughs> they last about 50. <laughs> you just made that up, didn't you? I did.